Bitcoin prices have suffered some heavy losses lately, falling to less than $30.00 oh, 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 during a day where risk assets experienced a broad sell-off. The world's most prominent digital currency dropped to $29.870. 33 around 8 p.m. EST, trading view data shows. At this point, the cryptocurrency was trading at its lowest value since July, additional trading view figures reveal. By falling to this point, the digital asset was down more than 50% from its all-time high of roughly $69.000 reached late last year. Head note, investing in crypto coins or tokens is highly speculated and the market is largely unregulated. Anyone considering it should be prepared to lose their entire investment. When explaining these latest price movements, several analysts spoke to central bank money tightening, stating that this development was causing investors to flee risk assets. Central banks around the world have injected trillions of dollars worth of stimulus into the global financial system in order to shore up economic conditions during the global pandemic. Further, they have been maintaining low benchmark interest rates for years, a policy that they have started to reverse. Between rate hikes and asset sales, these financial institutions could have a significant impact on the global asset markets, which many believe have become inflated as a result of unprecedented stimulus. Charlie Silver, CEO and Chairman of Permission IO, weighed in on this situation. With the Fed withdrawing liquidity from the market all risk assets are correlated in selling off, he stated. Jody Pasquale, CEO of cryptocurrency hedge fund manager Bitbull Capital, also commented on the matter, providing similar input. The monetary policy tightening is causing investors to reduce their exposure to risk assets and BTC's current correlation to the S&P 500 has led it to also drop today. H. Macroeconomic factors While the aforementioned market observers focused on the actions of central banks, Sam Wu, market analyst for Bitcoin Magazine, cited a wider range of macroeconomic variables as driving Bitcoin's recent price movements. Rising rates, a historic pace of monetary policy tightening. Crypto's robust adoption Sid Powell, CEO of Maple Finance, a Sydney-based institutional capital marketplace, also spoke to the volatility in digital currencies, comparing these innovative assets to the shares of technology companies and the compelling gains they enjoyed.